5 segundos a cerrar los ojos y conocer que te gasté a mi nombre todo. We're gonna take great care of them, ok? These help prevent any type of blood clot. And uh, safety is number one for us here, ok? Listo para la pelea, nos vemos un ratito. Today we're going to be doing liposuction on a male patient. And the first step in liposuction you've already seen me do is put the markings on the patient. And those are landmarks to help guide where I extract the fat. The second step, after the patient's been asleep, draped, and uh, we're going to infiltrate fluid into the tissues. And that fluid goes in and I suction out that fluid and what comes with it is the fat itself. And so that's what we're going to begin here doing now. The fluid, as you see here, comes out through this cannula, through this IV tubing, and the bag of fluid is, is there on the, on the rack. The uh, fluid itself has uh, two different types of drugs in them. One, epinephrine, and that squeezes the blood vessels, so we minimize the bleeding that goes on during liposuction. The second one is going to help them postoperatively with pain control, and that's called lidocaine. And then, uh, and then uh, obviously the fluid is just normal saline that we're uh, infiltrating through the uh, fat tissue which lives above the abdominal wall and below the skin. These incisions I'm making in the patient are only four millimeters in size, enough to fit the liposuction cannula. Uh, much of this fluid is going to be uh, liposuctioned out, but some of it will stay and, and it can cause a fluid collection. So I leave drains in inside the space that we're liposuction and those are going to help clear the fluid out of that space over the next uh, few days and then after you know two three days the the, uh, the the drains can come out now you can start to see that the um, the infiltration has has made a, a difference in the color of the skin you can see how it's white here and the, there's still some areas of red that's turning white and that's from the epinephrine and the drug. We've done the infiltration part. We've given it a few minutes for the infiltration to take effect. What those few minutes do is allow those blood vessels to really constrict down so we can minimize the bleeding that occurs with liposuction. And now it's time to extract the fat. And I find that liposuction fat extraction is done most effectively with this device here. It's called the micro air device and uh, I use it almost every time with liposuction, uh, especially with, with liposuction of the abdomen. And so yeah, what this device does is, is uh, it vibrates at the tip and it really helps break up the fat and, and helps it extract better and, and giving a more efficient and optimized liposuction. Just to recap, today we did a liposuction case. Uh, we first put fluid in, suctioned out that fluid, and what came with it was the fat. If you'd like to talk further about liposuction or any type of body or face procedure, I'm happy to talk further. Please reach out and uh, come for an evaluation. Thank you. Estoy peinado. <laughs> no me pueden ver despeinado. Bueno, familia, ya estoy bien, estoy saliendo de recuperación. Gracias a Michael Metti y Jerry por cumplir mi sueño de quitarme esos salvavidas que tenía. A pelear ahora sin barriga. Siendo la suburban. Pero nos jugamos. Mamá, ¿no hay a comer por ahí? Ay, la hambre no se me Todavía estoy herido. Bueno, bueno, Dame algo por ahí.